we're literally dying because of an idea that we're invincible and i think that's why it's very apparent that we need to stop saying it and we need to treat black women nicer Hi, it's Maxine. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you probably read by the title, I'm talking about the strong independent black woman trope and why I think we should abolish it and normalize weak black women. I do want to preface this discussion by saying this video is solely based on my perspective, my experiences, and my observations. I am by no means an expert. If you think I got anything wrong on this topic, please don't be super critical. I'd love for the comment section to be open and a place of education and not critique or cynicism. So without further ado, if you'd like to hear my opinions on this topic, keep on watching. I feel like I've always given a little side eye to the phrase strong independent black woman, but I don't think I was able to form my own opinion on why I disliked it until probably two or three years ago when I really became into my adulthood in my early 20s. But honestly what really inspired me to make this video today was that on Twitter I noticed an influx of viral tweets on my timeline from black women talking about how they wanted to be treated in relationships and I found a common trend of the fact that they just wanted to be treated nice. And I think the fact that so many black women were retweeting it, interacting with these types of tweets, it's a problem and I think those tweets are already bringing awareness to it, these discussions are as well, but I think it's more important to bring it offline and into our circles and all of our close relationships and other people online. I'm gonna read a few of the tweets that stuck out to me. This is my laptop, um, yeah. So the first tweet is by Zonda Shea. I dream of never being called resilient again in my life. I'm exhausted by strength. I want support. I want softness. I want ease. I want to be amongst kin. Not patted on the back for how well I take a hit or for how many. And then she replied to that tweet to make like a mini thread. And she wrote, instead of hearing you are one of the most resilient people I know, I want to hear you are so loved. You are so cared for. You are genuinely covered. And that tweet, the first tweet got like almost 30,000 retweets, over 80,000 likes, 2,300 quoted tweets. And then that reply tweet got like 2,200 retweets, 8,000 likes, couple hundred quoted tweets. So people agreed with her. Okay, the next tweet is from Brown Skinned and it reads, gentleness is my love language. Handle me with care, with softness, with respect, and with genuine intent. And this got 6,900 retweets, 230 quote tweets, over 20,000 likes. And then this one is from Melissa underscore Kimball and she tweeted, I had to check someone for trying to tell me to push through. I'm not pushing through anymore. I want softness, compassion, consideration tenderness and this tweet wasn't exactly viral it got like 600 retweets 36 quoted tweets and 2800 likes but yeah like i've already said before these tweets are just a few examples of the outpour i've seen from black women online talking about how they are tired of being resilient they're tired of being known for their strength and we want more to life than just to be known for persevering Black women are the only racial female category that are known for strength. I don't think you've ever heard of a strong white woman or a strong Asian woman or a strong Latina woman. I know I personally haven't. If you have, comment below. But I feel like more often than not, it's the strong black woman profile and these other racial categories of women are not known for that. And even to say strong white woman sounds really odd to me and yet strong independent black woman is so normal and that's not okay. I know that different ethnicities all have their positive and negative stereotypes but I feel like this particular stereotype of black woman in relation to their strength and independence is really detrimental to how we're treated in society and I think it's especially harmful. These assumptions not only affect how we're treated in social situations, but it also affects how we're treated in the healthcare industry. 
there's innumerable cases of black women not receiving the proper health care and not getting the attention of their doctors because of their pain. The strong independent black woman trope also affects how we're perceived at work. I feel like we're always given this identity of strength and she gets it done on time and she can just do it all and it's too much. We're literally dying because of an idea that we're invincible and I think that's why it's very apparent that we need to stop saying it and we need to treat black women nicer, kinder, gentler, and with the same consideration as any other woman. I always hear amazing stories of black women being triumphant, but I would like to hear more stories of black women receiving the help they need, black women receiving the care they need, and black women feeling supported by the people around them. I know that changing this dialogue of black strong black women isn't gonna happen overnight, but I think the first step are these discussions that are happening on Twitter and like I said earlier, bringing those discussions into our personal circles. I've tried to start doing this in small ways, so I feel like whenever someone will try to make a joke like, oh, I thought you were a strong, independent black woman, I'll be like, immediately no. Like, no, I'm not strong, I'm actually weak, and I don't identify with that phrase, and you should stop putting that phrase or idea on top of the black women that you know. We need help, we're the least likely to ask for help, so I feel like we're the ones that need that support the most. I know when I've had these discussions, especially with men, usually they're surprised, like, oh, I never thought about it that way. I never thought about um, the negative effects of that phrase. So I'm really glad to bring that to their attention. And I hope, like, after talking to me, they realize that they need to be kinder and gentler to the black women in their lives and realize that nobody is strong and above receiving help. Unfortunately, there is a lot of content that falls into that trap of portraying their black female characters as strong, independent, just able to get everything done without any sweat. But I think there are some really great shows that are showing these imperfect black women and showing their need for help, their need for emotional stability and support. I'm thankful for shows like Insecure, I May Destroy You, and Love Life all of which are on HBO, which I did not do on purpose. Um, but in each of those shows, there are black female characters that aren't always making it happen. And sometimes they do crack under pressure and sometimes they do need help. And it's so important to show these characters on screen because like in the black community, I'm sure it's different, but even for other cultures to see like, wow, that black woman, like she's openly crying and asking for help and not accomplishing everything that's impossible and not being perfect. And that's okay and that's really important. I really love Insecure, not only because I love Issa Rae, but because each black female character is a different type of black woman and they're all showing and experiencing different struggles in their identities and how they're needing help in different facets of their life from like Tiffany who has postpartum depression after she has a child to Issa who's really confused about her adulthood and what she's meant to do versus what she wants to do and then there's Molly who is I feel like that strong independent black woman character and she realizes that she can't get it all done either she's not perfect and that's okay and then there's Kelly, who's like the funny, supportive friend. And even in this final season, she's talking about how she wants the support of her friends. She wants to be remembered and she wants to feel supported because she's always the one giving support and comedic relief. I know I May Destroy You is a lot more serious, but I think even that type of story about sexual assault is so important to show a black woman as a victim that needs help and that is having to navigate her mental health and even the support she receives and how she has to struggle through that. Like, it's just such a good show. Like, if you haven't watched it, get information. It's Michaela Cole. You can't go wrong. Like, ugh, what a talent. And then Love Life will always have a special place in my heart, especially season two, because it is so black and 
they talk about so much nuance when it comes to dating in the black community especially in new york city and also the impact of a black man and how he's navigating like dating white women dating black women the judgment around that but my favorite character is jessica williams character because she is a black woman and she's not perfect and she still gets love and it's just great i'm just a sap for a good love story um but yeah in each of these shows i think they're all portraying black women in a way that's beyond like she's strong she gets it done sometimes she falls under pressure but she always has to pull it together like how to get away with murder or um i can't even think of another show right now but you know the type <laughs> it's in like every movie before like 2008 and we're in the 20s and things are changing i do also want to briefly talk about being perceived as a strong black woman when it comes to dating i had this discussion with a few of my friends and they didn't really agree with me so i don't know if it's just a me thing it's just the energy i'm putting out there but hopefully someone agrees with me where I feel like a lot of times like because I present as like a smart put together black woman whatever I feel like when I go out with black men that are also smart they're always trying to challenge me or like prove me wrong or like flex their smartness but it's not in a cute way it's in a way that's like are you trying to be like my annoying brother or are you trying to be my boyfriend? Are you trying to be my man? Cause I just want you to make me laugh and smile and treat me well. Like that's literally all I want. And it's been hard to come by honestly. So comment below if you as a black woman have experienced that because it's hard out here in New York. Um, I'm doing a video soon about dating in New York. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, that's, I feel like that is attributed to how we perceive black women, especially dark skinned black women. And you know, the rap lyrics and movie portrayals about dark skinned women and it's not a good look, but we are here, we are changing the dialogue and I'm not settling for less and I'm requiring more out of my friendships, relationships, and any interactions. Okay, honestly, that's all I have to say. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna close this video by telling you to be gentle and kind to the black women in your life. Black women deserve softness, thoughtful gestures, and support just as much, if not more, than other people. If you're ever blessed to be in the presence of a black woman, ask yourself, are you being kind? Are you being patient? Are you giving her the same benefit of the doubt as a white woman? Really, really let that sink in, you know? Really marinate on that one. Especially if it's with a loved one because if you're not treating the people you love in your life with gentleness and kindness, what are you doing? It's gonna make a world of difference, I promise. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye.